Hey everybody, it's Paul from Cary State Planning back with another video as part of our 2020 video challenge. Continuing on the theme of state administration, I wanna to talk today about releases and satisfactions. So after creditor claims are paid, after you've actually cut the check and mailed it to the creditor and they've cashed it and they've basically satisfied their claim against the estate, they generally should, or you should be requesting what's called a satisfaction or release of their claim. That sort of evidence is basically being submitted to the clerk of court to show that the, the debt is no longer outstanding, that the claim is resolved. But it can't just be your word, or it can't just be uh, generally the uh, bank statement showing a cash check. It needs to be an acknowledgement from the creditor saying that we've been paid, we no longer have a, a claim against the estate. A lot of creditor claims companies are basically going to send these as a matter of course, but if you have uh, you know, a creditor who's not used to dealing with estates, uh, then they may forget. So it's something that you have to stay on top of. This has to be submitted uh, with the final or prior to the final being uh, submitted in order for the estate to be shut down. This is Paul from Carrier State Planning.